My name is Michael Kitsis, Chief Financial Planning Nerd for Kitsis.com. So one of the biggest drivers that we find in scaling advice businesses, yeah, advisory firms, we tend to focus a lot on like, if I could just find this technology to make me a little bit more uh, uh, efficient and like automate this system and, and create this process that would refine us, you know, things would be better. And, and that certainly does help. Like I, I love me some good technology and I at least have an appreciation for good workflows, although I'm not the best builder of them myself. But when you really look at what drives productivity in advisory firms, it turns out by far the biggest driver is actually really quite simple. It's, it's literally the expertise that we have and our ability to charge a, potentially a premium fee for our expertise, right? If you think in the purest sense, like salespeople sell products, advisors historically sold their time, advisors sell their expertise, or you kind of think like, you know what, well the, you sell what's between your two ears. And so if you want to command a greater premium for what you sell between your ears, you have to stock the shelves with more inventory and better inventory, which essentially comes down to deg degrees and advanced designations. Uh, we see uh, overwhelmingly even just having CFP certification creates better economics around the expertise that these advisors can charge, how quickly they can do planning, because if you just know the answer off the top of your head because you've studied it, you don't have to go and look it up and spend hours figuring out how to solve that answer for clients. But as more advisors are getting CFP marks, that kind of becomes the baseline. Then the question is, well, what are you doing beyond that to invest in yourself more deeply? And so we actually talked a lot in our session about what happens when you pursue what I call post CFP advanced designations. And so that includes many that IWI offers like SEMA, CPWA, RMA are all paths that take us even deeper into expertise so that ultimately we can command a premium in the marketplace. And we don't have to say like, you know, I'm an advisor that delivers above average quality for below average costs, which is what a lot of advisors say is kind of a point of pride about like, look at how valuable I am. When you look at the most successful premium brands, they don't offer a premium service for a discount price. They offer a premium service for a premium price. That's how they run very profitable businesses. I mean, the same thing is uh, available to advisors, but it starts with investing into your expertise.